1958, the Metal Box must have been one of the biggest employers in the area. There must have been hundreds of girls. There was three floors in the clock tower block, plus different making up departments spread throughout the whole factory floor. So as I say, there must have been hundreds of girls passed through the lines. I can remember going on, just starting off, the biscuit lids come down the conveyor belt and we used to have to wipe all the wax off, make sure they're all nice and clean, and we used to put them in boxes. If you got so many in a box, we used to, have to cover them with tissue paper. And as we got on and got used to everything, then I went starting to go on the machine. The tin was this complete square or a shape. Then you had to put the bottom piece on the machine and put it on the top and you'd have to spin it round. Then girls at the bottom would pack it into a box and go somewhere else. As a tool maker in, in the tool room there, not only were we making new tools, but you also worked on breakdowns in any of the manufacturing departments. You were called in to repair any problems that there might be. I was put into a department called Slitting Department and you, you just used to have to stand there till a job came along. And you couldn't congregate. Younger guys had to have stand a certain distance apart. But that didn't apply to one of old guys. And he used to sit on a stool and go to sleep. I played football and golf. I belong to the uh, cinema club and also the swimming club. It meant that when you went on the factory floor, you knew people. I think it was Acton we went to and we had a uh, metal box sports day at Acton. We took a team from Mansfield and Sutton to take part in uh, athletics and tennis. And I've still got the glass flower vase uh, in, I've got it, I give my mother, but it's mine there, cooked glass, which I won in winning, I think it was a mile or something, I forget the race, it was a long distance. There was not a place where we, we used to have a bar or anything like that, but we used to turn the canteen and we used to have discos. We used to have 200 people in there. We used to charge £1.50 for disco and pie and peas. Canteen used to make the pie and Tony Childs, that used to have the mushy pea stall on Mansfield Market, used to provide us with a huge vat of mushy peas. And that's what we used to serve up. And we used to have 200 people and we used to sell out. Some mornings you'd have to line up, wouldn't you? Yeah. And they'd pick you for a certain job. If you yeah. could do that job, you were picked to do that yeah. job. It wasn't heavy work, it was it was hard work. You got on with your job, you, you got one from half past seven in the morning, you got on until you, you got popped on off at evening. You, right. I mean, you did have a chat on the lines, but you got your work done, but you had to get so so much done, didn't you, in that mm. day? Mm. That your charge hand used to take numbers, didn't you? Yeah. It's funny how the gang of us used to go to this cafe up near, not far from here, across Milk the road, bar. Milk, Milk bar. bar, and we all used to congregate in there, and the, the bloke that owned it, he used to have a right good camaraderie right, with us, you know, right, and laugh, and we used to have him in well, stitches. Well, some money out of us. And we used to have his dinners there, and he used to do a good dinner. Just to get out of the atmosphere of the factory. Yeah, and he'd say, well, same time tomorrow, yeah, we'll be here. This seemed to be like a whole family. It all ran very, very well, really, to say that this kind of a factory was making so many different things and needed so many qualified people from engineering all the way through to produce so many, many different things. Incredible. <laughs>